Welcome to the Litchfield Recreation Commission meeting on October 24th, 2017. We've got five members present. We have a quorum. We do not have minutes from the last meeting to go through, so we will try to handle that in the next meeting. And we can climb right into the agenda that we have going tonight. Um, the major item we had going was the landscape bid, as I understand. Uh, we had a bid that came in <coughs> from Natticook Lawn and Landscape after the fact. We can't accept that, but I just want to make it public that because it was after the date of acceptance of the bids, we can't have it. Um, we had two bids that came in that Andy sent out to everybody to review. Um, somebody want to talk and take it away, or do you want to talk about your bid, or okay? Well, I mean, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. Okay, um, fire away. This has a lot to do with the budget and everything. Um, right now, we're we're over the tax cap by about eighty thousand dollars as as a municipality. How much? Eighty thousand. Eighty. Um, which is ironically close to our budget here with REC. Um, you, um, we are the recreation department. Will have, with any luck, if nothing goes wrong, a forty-two hundred dollar uh, return. Um, which. I feel like we should encumber those funds and put those towards the basketball court. We can do that. So we'll take the 42 instead of giving it back to the town. We'll, we'll and I'll talk to Troy about it. We'll work with it. Well, the select would have to prove that. Yeah. We, we wouldn't. No, I know, we but I'm telling you, this is, this is my plan. Okay. Um, and, and so that would meet us almost halfway to getting the basketball courts finished. Okay. So with the budget being over like it is, um, we have two bids for landscaping. We have one for fifty thousand and another for forty-three. Um, so we're looking at a seven thousand dollar difference, roughly, between the two bids. That seven thousand will close the gap to get our basketball courts done. Now, if we decide to go with the higher landscaper, for instance, the fifty thousand, then the budget committee is going to look to shave something somewhere out of our budget. But if we act responsible and we take a lower price. The budget committee will probably just gloss over us. They'll let us uncover the funds. We'll actually have, they won't touch our budget for next year, and we'll have the additional funds to do the uh, basketball court. Okay. Now, I've, I've said a question. Go ahead. You want to ask first? I, just, I can respond to that, but go ahead. Uh, so you said we have a $4,200 surplus. Um, surplus. Surplus, yes. Now, uh, do, we usually have, do we usually have a surplus? We typically come right close, within a couple grand over or under our budget every year. Okay, and um, I thought we've used that to... It, we've we've pre-filled the propane tanks right. in the past. We've bought we've, tables, <coughs> various things. That right, but we try... We don't, as a historical item, <laughs> just so everybody knows, because I've told the budget committee, we don't spend out our bottom line budget. Mm -hmm. We've never done that. We've never sat here and go, December, we've got $2,000 left, let's go buy this. We, by encumbering money, which is what he's suggesting, it would go towards our next budget, towards an item that is a one-time expense that I went to the budget committee and talked to them about. Right. I guess when you said, Kurt, I never recall giving anything back to the taxpayers. It automatically know. goes it back. Yeah, yeah, right. you might not realize it. I'm just, okay. I, I'm just looking at it. it might not go back to the taxpayers. It might go to, if the library was over by $10,000, yeah. it well, goes It there. goes to the general fund. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's an aggregate number. Just, like, just, it, just as a number of years ago, I forget how many, we were over in our propane budget for a year and we didn't make our budget. It wasn't by a lot, mm -hmm. but somewhere the selectmen went, yeah, we're going to take this X number of dollars and put it in the recreation budget because they went over their budget okay. that particular year. Okay. Um, and again, a budget is supposed to be planned appropriately. And I thought it was pretty close. And We're, we're yeah. pretty accurate. Okay. Yeah. Um, we didn't spend a lot of... Um, without the Winterfest and w without right. a few expenses, we had some program expenses that didn't go up, and some of our maintenance items weren't as high as some previous years. Okay. So. And I don't, I don't want to get too yeah. far off track, but I think that we should probably spend some money on new tables. Um, well, that's what we were talking about the last meeting, right? Yeah, you know, even if we did take like five hundred dollars and bought, you know, ten new tables if we found a deal on them, um, that that should be done, I think. But but, but in our budget, <coughs> we have money for things like that. Mm -hmm. So if, we're, if we go into next year and our budget gets approved and the town budget goes through and we haven't been cut back, mm -hmm. then we've got money set aside for normal items like that that we can approve without having to go to anybody. Yep. That being said, when I met with the budget committee, um, I went through our budget. I explained the basketball court item 
and that you guys had approved ten thousand dollars towards it, which was more than what Vermont's I don't, I'm not sure of the name without looking well, it up. It was like the, 90s. The 97, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, but yeah. I explained to them there was also a caveat in there that said if we went with two lines, it would cost us X number of dollars more. And yeah, I said, Ten, more, yeah. Ten's a good number here, and we, you know, if we can work it out. So that's what they applied in there. I explained to them that we'd be meeting um, tonight to vote on the landscaping budget and that it potentially could go up and down. Um, their biggest concern that came back was on porta potties because our porta potty expense went up because we finally assigned the baseball porta potties into our budget, which it should have gone up. Um, they weren't. There was nothing in our budget. They went. Oh, we need to. We need to grab thousand dollars off of this. And I sat through a few of the um, items. They weren't looking to chop back. And I explained how our budget works and what it has been in the past, and how it's really pretty much gone down since we've been running this with all the volunteerism and all the stuff we get in town going across. Um, they talked about the Jeff Lane briefly, explained that that was being used out of impact fees and it wasn't a budget item. They talked about river access, um, said my plan is not to use it and there's no money in our budget towards river access funds, that if the Conservation Commission doesn't have it and Jeff Lane's got all its funding, we may use impact fees down the road, but that will be something we'll address in 2018 um, so it rolled back to this I said we've got a bid the high bid was 50,000 and we'll we're gonna discuss it and go around mm -hmm. so that's the update towards the budget committee side because um, I didn't find them to be as they do with some of the other budgets looking for that hey yeah. no they've been pretty good I mean that they, they've yeah they, they, they pretty much understand what we're doing yeah. uh, which is a positive but if we do, if we do have to, you know, I'm, I'm just, I just want to, you know, make it as easy for us as it is for them to I present get the budget. And what is our it, current line this year for landscaping? Oh, right at the just, moment, we're at thirty-six thousand five hundred and seventy dollars at this point in time. No, I'm saying, what are we in our budget that we put in for for this year? Oh, I, uh, it's too it's far in back. Forties, but I'm, I don't remember the exact number. But I mean, we, doesn't it tell us how much more money we have left in that account? Like when you when you talk about the budget, and I can't see it on my phone. Um, Let's see, it came from Troy, right? Hold on, hold on. No, I'm looking at it right now. Well, it's only projected. So, We're projected to spend eighty thousand ninety four dollars. Our budget is eighty four thousand three hundred and seventy seventy five dollars. I told. That's our projection. Right, but I'm just saying for that line item. I, I don't have a I don't have an exact line I, item. I don't remember what the number was on that. Why? What's the point? Well, I'm just wondering, you know, you're saying it's going to go up or down because I'm trying to remember what our current contract is for this year. I think it's around like 44 or so, if I remember correctly. Uh, you're going to give me about 10 up. minutes to find it. Are you trying to look it up? I'm trying, yeah. All right, well, you're looking it up. I'll, I'll go across and give, I guess, my opinion towards where we go. I think the last time I did this, I was on the phone in Vermont mm -hmm. um, discussing this. We made some good choices, I think, last time around. We had some serious problems with our landscaping and not anything against um, Rocky and his, and his bid so forth. I, I'm not a fan of us training somebody in commercial landscaping for a few thousand dollars difference in a budget. Um, we have got a successful program going right now with landscaping, and if we go back in the direction of we're not sure what we've got and tracking and monitoring the fields on a regular basis to see for two years if it's going to work. I don't find that in the best interest of the cons of the Recreation Commission for a couple thousand dollars. We're not sitting in an unreasonable bid at 50000 with the new fields of Jeff Lane being added to it. And I guess that's where my opinion falls in this one. Um, I. It's where I go. I don't know where the other three stand on that. I just know where I stand. I, I did have some concerns when I read the bid because it only talked about fertilization in the fall coming into the bid. Um, no, no, year round. Year round. That's not what it said in the bid, though. I think um, it, well, it said per what we put in for the specs. No. I'll read. I'll tell you what it said in a sec. Let's see here. Uh, again. I wasn't trying to be critical of the bid because when I saw the two values 
for me personally, I didn't see enough value difference for us to say we're going to take the contractor who's been doing a, a, an exceptional job for the last two years and previously had done an exceptional job, and we had, what, three or four years of misery mm -hmm. trying to get other people to come in and do what we had before, and we're back to where we were prior to with minimal complaints. Now, I don't know our current contractor. I've never personally met him. Um, I, I know Rocky because we worked together for, for a while. Um, so that makes this even a little more difficult. But the reality is I could pick up my phone and call a guy I've never met and say, hey, I need this taken care of. Mike Bosky does the same thing and it's taken care of you know, right away, which has been a real change or what we'd went with mm -hmm. for three or four years, whatever the time right. frame was, was on there. It was definitely a challenge. Definitely a challenge. Um, but what's your opinion? I agree. Um, I don't know Rocky. I don't know uh, TLC. Never worked with TLC. I have no idea. Um, but the same thing. We dealt with major dissatisfaction with the fields for a few years with other vendors. Um, and then to finally get them back in, in working condition um, this past year, it was I know Rocky's local, TLC's local. Uh, the other ones weren't local. That was that was. Well, there was one. One well, was one semi local. Was, yeah. Well, we thought it was local, but he was local. We thought well, it was. A and A local. was out in. No, but the one that we, the when we had Rainmaker here. He oh, was, Rainmaker. Yep. Um, well, we thought he was local, but it turned out. Right. Come to find out, the actual, yeah, right. one person was local. Um, so, currently we've received good feedback from the current um, landscaper, if that's what you call, want to call them, the person, the commercial landscaper. So I haven't had any complaints um, that I'm aware of. I don't believe there's been any complaints that have come to the recognition about TLC. So. It's my take. I mean, Troy Brown complained to me about all the crabgrass on sawmill. Um, he was out there and talking about the field. And well, right now, yeah, right now there's some. I don't know what's going on, but I don't. Uh, I mean, this uh, sawmill is like trashed right now for some reason. Um, Troy had also uh, mentioned, like around probably August, about how uh, how 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 much crabgrass there is versus regular grass. I mean, I'm just pointing that out. I mean, is it sawmill? Or this is at a sawmill. Sawmill. Yeah, I went over there and looked with them, and it, it did look, you know, it, you know. And somebody will say, "Well, it's green." Yeah, it's green, but it's also a weed. So it's the only place that talks about fertilization. Well, I uh, yeah. I don't force that program. Like, it's underneath each individual field. I'm just reading the services breakdown on there, and the services breakdown says in September, overseeding fertilization will be formed either late September or late October. It's the only place in the services breakdown that talks about fertilization. No, I mean, I think it says it on each individual field. Like, it, I, when I'm looking at in a soccer field, it says fertilization, four step program, uh, nutrient content. So the four step is spring, summer, late summer, or We're on, I don't know what our budget says, but we are on track to spend forty-seven thousand dollars this year, forty-seven thousand one hundred fifty, according to um, his invoice. I mean, his his proposal, which is only ninety-one thousand five hundred for the two years, and I just subtracted last year, which was forty-four something. So now we're we're at forty-seven thousand. But I don't know what the line item is on it. Um, okay. I don't. Yeah. Well, no, we just wonder. So. Oh, because it was like 44 and change last year and 47 and change this year? Yeah. And that doesn't include Jeff Lane. Right. Well, there was mowing there, but not to the level it will be, not to the size. He's never, not, he's never mowed. Oh, he hasn't done it at all this year. He hasn't. Right. Oh, no. no need. I had to have, there was no need. You're right. Jack went over there and mowed for us because we were getting complaints from the neighbors. And, um, you know, and I honestly think that he probably should have been taking care of that, at least along the road. But, I mean, we have weeds that are this tall now. And then Continental came along and they took their, their um, rubber tired excavator and 
yarded all that crap out, but um, you know, turned it back down to dirt where it was grass at one point, but it turned into weeds because it never got mowed. And I did complain a couple of times, but nobody ever listened to me, so it never got mowed. Oh, I I didn't know. And then I the would. neighbors if called. I, me. If I got an email, I would have zipped off and could give them a call. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I mean, I think I mentioned it to somebody, and they, you know, never got out there. But then the neighbors started calling, and Kevin Lynch got on me about that, and. Well, 2017 was the first year of the new contract. Is that right? Because this is a two-year we're, we're voting on. Correct. But it was only a single year. He was a Both no. years are in the bid. 2018, 50,000. 2019, 50,000. Yeah. That's what the bid says. It doesn't have a step increase going from one year to the next. Okay, yeah. The current contract, we're, this is the second year of the current right. contract. Second year we're wrapping year. up the second year. I mean, if, there's no, if there weren't any major complaints and you guys felt like you moved from something that was a problem to something that's been consistent, I mean, that's, I think, a good indication of going in the right direction. And you, you know who we're with, so that's the reliability. But are we, are we being responsible? Based don't. on history and, and the problems we had for the number of years? Yeah, you're looking we're, at spending $13,000 more than we need to. We spent more in this last budget than <laughs> what we will not need to what we determined made the most sense for the town. Yeah. Um, and, and again, that whole responsible isn't taking the lo lowest bidder. We had a long conversation about this a couple of years ago because we had done that. Yeah. We had gone in with the lowest bidder and it was a disaster. We actually canceled the contract after one year on one of the bids that we did because of the problems and complaints and Something. et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'm, Again, <laughs> there's no shot Rocky sitting here because I don't know Rocky, but I do know that you have no history of commercial landscaping based on your bid, what you gave to us. You're a residential landscaper. Um, and our history said when we headed in that direction, we got a mowing company, not a landscaper, and not somebody who cared for the fields. Um, that's, and that's why, responsibly speaking, for two years, that's why, well, I know I'm going to make a motion because nobody else needs to want to jump into it, and we can debate from there. I'm going to make a motion that we approve TLC's bid of $50,000 for 2018 and 2019 for the landscaping bid that we have. Do I have a second? You put in uh, 46, by the way, for this year, for next year. Do I have a second for discussion? No, second. Second. You put in 46500 for 2018. For your landscape budget, I just found the uh, breakdown. <clears throat> well, I mean, all right. So we got two guys. We have one that's very interested in that business because he's sitting here. We have another guy who is wherever because I think he assumes he's probably going to get the contract because he was here in the last two years. And I'm just, I just don't think it's fair. I mean, I think it's why, why are we? You know, this guy never supplied references. He never TLC never gave us references. Never gave us an equipment list. And yet, he had to. Well, we have an equipment list from TLC from the last bit. Well, then it should have gone, it should have got resubmitted, you know? With, my, I wasn't around back then, so I don't know what TLC's equipment list was when, when the bid was made the last time. Neither does Pete. He wasn't here either. And we're bidding on a company right now that, that obviously, there's only one person here. And, it's not and, a requirement to be here. For our discussion. No, but I mean, it shows initiative to have somebody sitting there waiting to hear the answer. We were all here the last time the, the bids were open. I was part of it. I, I submitted a bid back in the day, and there was like six of us sitting in the back of the room waiting. This time we got one. Yep, you were here. I just, I just don't, I can't agree with you. I mean, I think that we're being irresponsibly financially, irresponsible financially, and you know, you and you're just saying that you know, no matter who shows up, if TLC gave us a hundred thousand dollar bid, you're going to take it. I did not say that. I said I felt you're, you're so comfortable with the guy, you're going to take the bid no matter what. That's really what you're saying. No, I felt the difference between the two bids wasn't enough for me. Okay. Me. Good for you. To vote right. That's that's why I made my motion. Because for me, I didn't feel the amount of work we put into previous years of fighting with contractors who weren't doing a quality job, mm -hmm. which is what got us back to the original landscaper we had that was doing quality work until we went and looked at bids. And he had an, what we felt was an excessive bid at one point. And that's why we 
we went with a different contractor, mm -hmm. which didn't work. That's why for me, I look at the difference between the two bids and I don't see it as being extreme. I, I think his bid at 50, based off of what a current contract is and the increase in the fields is reasonable. Doesn't mean that his bid's under underbid, but I don't see experience in mm -hmm. his company for us to be a training facility for a landscaper to take over commercial business. We know what TLC gives us. I don't, based on past history, I don't see a reason for us for a few thousand dollars to go into that problem again, at, especially as a volunteer board. We spent an inordinate amount of time following up with two previous landscapers continuously. I was on the phone all the time. I was emails all the time. I was chasing people. Mike was chasing people all the time. Keith was chasing all the time. Mm -hmm. Keith met those two landscapers. So multiple you're telling times. me you're telling me that this might happen with him. I no. I I'm telling you I don't want to train somebody else how to do this. And I don't know if that's the case, but I know I don't have to train the current guy. If yeah. I pick up my phone, I send a message, the answer comes right back, I'll take care of it right away. Yeah. That's it. I like that. I for me personally, because in many cases, Keith, myself, and Mike handle this. Mm -hmm. It's easier to handle what I know, and for a few thousand dollars less, I'm not in the. I don't want to be the one out there trying to train someone new on how to get this stuff done, handling the compl complaints and so forth. And I don't know if there's going to be any complaints. Fine. But I look at the current bid for TLC and the future bid for TLC, and I made the motion because I'm comfortable with that. I think it's a reasonable mm -hmm. bid. And I do not believe that we should train in this in this business. And we don't have anybody here to do it. Mike's losing his mind right now with Sawmill. Losing his mind about how the field conditions are. You saw the email to the pastor. Um, he was talking about, you know, what is going on with this field and things like that. So, you, you know what? If you're comfortable with Mike handling Sawmill and the problems that he's having, then, you know, you, that's your bit. I mean, that's your, your decision. Yep. But, I mean, Mike is not happy with what's going on out there. And I wish he was here tonight because he would tell us. But you can tell by all his emails that he's sending out, trying to get people to work with the conditions of the fields. Mike just told us he's not coming, so he just sent an email. He won't be here tonight, no, so I know, he can't but, go with that. But I mean, you know, you can, you have to go by the emails that he's put out too, and he's he's not happy with the way things are going with his fields. Now, maybe I misread it. I thought it was just he's talking to Pastor, um, Pastor Tabernacle. Yeah. Pastor Small, yep. was it just because of, I didn't know he was, I know that that field gets excessive water mm -hmm. and it doesn't drain well. Yeah. Um, was he, I didn't, was it go, I didn't see him going to TLC. I thought it was just addressing Pastor Small. That, well, he was just talking about the conditions of the field and how they're being worn down right now. And but that's usage. Yeah, no, no, I know that. He says I, I, I didn't get a sense that he was upset with the um, field maintenance person. I got a sense that he's just upset with the the usage of the field and the conditions, which Mike always is concerned about the conditions of the field. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's going to matter if Rocky's doing it, TLC's doing it, A and A did it, Rainmaker did it. Those fields don't drain well. He gets un unhappy. He's the one that polices it. Yeah, he lives right there. So I don't think it had to do with. At least that was my take from the email that he was upset with the maintenance of it. I thought he was more concerned about people rotating around the goals. So just so everybody's aware, his, his mess, message says, please stay off the game field while practicing a sawmill for the rest of the year. It is in rough shape, especially inside the penalty boxes and most of all in the gold mouse. The currently non-line portion of the complex is in great shape and can be used. And that's, that's how his e email goes. And then he goes into specifics about moving the nets around. I don't read that and say Mike's upset at the current landscaper. He's right. saying stay out of the goal, the goal areas and stay out of stay out of those couple areas that are overused and use the portion of the field that's well, set up he's, he's got an email right here from, to Brian. Oh, the sawmill sprinkler is still going every day. I had a game at 4.30 on Saturday. The field was still damp, for a better word. One end of the field is beaten up, and I think it was from Tabernacle. Having a game on Thursday, the field not being, being dry completely, even without rain. The bigger kids putting more stress in the field. When they play with less sun, the field is keeping its history. So, you know, I mean, we, we're looking at you know, I mean, I'm not lying to you. I mean, I'm seeing these emails. No, no, I am, I'm not I'm, saying I'm, I lying. didn't say that. Kurt, I just, I, I'm just trying to prove my point that, you know, everybody has their faults. And, you right, know, TLC doesn't walk it's... on water either. I just I just need to, you know, clarify that. And, and So we asked him to water it less in that email. 
That was what he was asking. Actually, the strength was probably yeah. I mean, they should have been shut off by then anyway. Any further discussion? I have a motion on Andy, the table. Do you have anything to say? Andy's been silent. Oh. Uh, and you've been around. You got history, so. Yeah, and it's a good chunk of money, um, which it's. I'm honestly torn. Um, I'm I'm torn too. I mean, it's. I have the most to lose. I have two brand new fields going online. Do you really think I'm gonna? If I don't, you know, care enough to about my fields, I mean, I I'm gonna be right on top of my fields too. I mean, I, but, I, I've got more that you guys at least have established fields that you're dealing with. I mean, I've got these two Jeff Lane fields that I'm I'm taking a leap of faith with this guy. I believe that he can do the job. I mean, it's just. But that's my point. I don't want to take a take a leap of faith. But I mean, I I believe it. I mean, I believe that he can. Okay. I don't want to take a well, leap of faith. And I'll tell you what happened at Corning Field, and you know this. He was, all, he was never bagging, so my infield was full of grass all the time. And I've personally gone out there with my own blower to blow the grass out of the dirt in the infield. Um, he gouged up my advertising signs with his, with his the, uh, bagger on his mower, and I could tell because I'm in the business and I know what happens. You take a quick turn, you cut it too close to the fence, and he gouged up our signs. And we've, we've talked to him about that. We've talked to them over and over again. But he doesn't bag the fields, and then and then when he does not bag, if he gets dirt, if he gets grass in the infield, then he he just drives his mower back and forth and blows it back into the grass, and it's like, I mean, I, I I'm fighting this, you know, I'm I'm at least with somebody that isn't going to say, hey, you know what, I I got you know so and so on my side. At least with somebody different, I can say, hey, you know what, Rocky, help me out here, you know, bag my infields for me, and and he he will. Because he's probably somebody that wants to do a good job. Whereas TLC is just like, nope, that's not the way we do it. We haven't done that for years. And that's the reply that I'll get. And it's frustrating for me. It's not the response that I've gotten when I call him. So right. I, I can tell you that my phone calls with him never go that way. Right. Um, but you were going to say? I mean, I just, as far as the aspects of the commercial end of it, I don't know if it's okay to bring him into the conversation if that's all right. Bring me into it? No. Rocky. So how do you address the concern of you you haven't dealt with commercial I mean because I mean residential the wear and tear on, on on the grass in a yard is nowhere near what you get on something that's being played um, constantly with the stress and strain. On. So Fill me with confidence, I guess, is the question. That the yeah, no, absolutely. Like I said at the last meeting, you guys would become my biggest customer. That's no, no question about it. You would become my number one priority. I don't have other commercial customers to go run to, to have to take care of. You guys are my number one. So if you call me with any concern, I'm there to address it. I live within three miles of most of these fields. I can be there pretty much any time to address any concerns you guys have. I don't have other people that I have to put in front of you. Right, but I'm just saying, so like, if you get the bid and next spring it comes, what's your plan to make sure that the fields can withstand the soccer, the lacrosse, the softball, you know, what, not reacting to things, because that's, yep. I mean, one of the things that, I mean, if you saw, I don't know if you saw uh, the fields, I, I'm going to use Dara as the, three years ago, if you walked out on Dara, it was almost getting getting to be a dirt bowl. It was awful. Um, you go out there today, it's got some spots, but it's really, really, really recovered. You know, maintaining that is important because once you start losing something like that on a field that's being used, especially in the spring by lacrosse and soccer, and softball and baseball, you know, how do we know that you can you can stay ahead of that? The same way I keep up with my residential lawns, I know they don't take the pounding that an athletic field would, but doing your soil tests and just staying on top of the maintenance, the overseeding, things like that, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's not that much different. I do know that they take a beating because they're being used constantly. But as long as I'm on top of it, I feel like the, the grass is going to 
just come back the way it would anywhere else. Do you rec like what type of gra would you use a different grass seed on fields than you do on a lawn? Absolutely. I don't know this. Yeah, so. yeah. There, there, there are grass seeds that are made for that kind of wear and tear versus there's shade mixes, there's um, sun mixes, there's all sorts of different types of grass seeds. B, well, if we're going to ask a couple questions, I yeah. hadn't thought about going down that process. Sprinkler maintenance, um, sprinkler damage, pump damage, history for fixing things like that. Oh, yeah. uh, yep. I maintain it all with my regular customers now. Um, the irrigation systems aren't that much different for a big commercial field. They, the heads are different, the pressure is different, but for fixing a, a sprinkler head really is fixing a sprinkler head. It's not, it really isn't that much different. So <laughs> then I'm going to go to one more. Address my concerns in fertilization. Your bid said fertilization. They only said it once in the bid for the work you're doing. I don't have the bid right in front of me. Um, I do believe it, it had a four-step plan in it um, with overseeding and aeration in the fall. I'm fairly confident I went through and put that in there. Well, the hard part about a bid like this is because it says the RFP is the stands, what you wrote and what the RFP says is where my concern comes because you're set of services i'll show it to you yeah. it'll be easier I'll, I'll, i'd rather just give it to you and let you see it um we so you'll the, understand what i'm saying original bids still here didn't we see, leave those here no yeah they're in my we still have them <laughs> uh, where's your email easier to see than a phone. You open up the second page there. Yeah, that's right. So right I there. see. And on the paper. Yeah. See how you list services? Mm -hmm. The only place on that that says fertilization is under September. And that's not <coughs> the program. That, I guess that was I got you. my concerns in reading that. Not that I didn't think we could take care of that in discussions because the RFP clearly says a four-step program. Right, right. No, and I, I, I understand. Um, but like it does say on the contract portion, it does say all services in the RFP. It, it, it is a four-step plan. Which is what to you? What does that mean to you? Fertilization in the spring, in the early summer, the late summer, and depending on weather, late fall. Do you use the My Scots app? I love that thing. <laughs> Well, Yolan, Yolan doesn't. <laughs> now, depending well, depending on right if you were to get the bid, um, and we have a relatively mild winter, when would you see yourself coming in the spring to open the fields? That's really just going to depend on how damp they are. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, I can open them pretty much as early as you guys want me to open them. Um, it's really just going to come down to if, if there's any snow on there and they're really damp. Okay. Well, would you feel because I mean what we've done in the past we didn't really do it this year but we've kind of left it especially when when we redid uh, Roy Memorial Park is we basically went to the contractor and said let us know when to open these fields okay um, do you feel comfortable saying you know and you know we don't want to sit there and say hey you know what if I don't let anybody on here till May these things are going to be looking yeah. great um, I mean we can't close the fields down but we can tell the local leagues, hey, you know, practice on pavement, practice on the infield. Don't, you know, no lacrosse on the fields until a certain date, or no cleat. You know, hey, you know what? You can use them, but don't use cleats on the fields until this date. Just because, you know, it's a it's a huge investment. This is. So, would you make feel, feel comfortable making that call? And, oh, and absolutely. I've had kids out on fields in March because, you know, there happened to be no snow. Not my kids, but I'd see, like, you know. Oh, yeah, they want to. They, they go out there, and, especially, out like, there. we'll be doing our indoor things at, at Talent, and like, we're, we're leaving, and there's kids out on the softball field in March. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, they're not allowed out there yet. They want to get out there as soon as they, well, even if we don't even open them, they still go out there. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. 
So Kurt, you said we're going back to the budget issue. The town is 80000 over uh, the task cap, is that what you said? Yes, yeah. All right, so does that mean that they're going to come back and start looking for places, or is it in the yep. middle of that right now? Yeah, we'll be, well, yes, they're going to have to um, readjust everybody's budget. So they're going to be looking to whittle that money down. <clears throat> And I think this would be a good step in the right direction to at least, you know, try to do our part. Well, we, we do our part. That's it was clear in the budget meeting that the Recreation Commission does our part. No yeah. one in the, in the budget committee was looking to shave even $100 off of our budget where it stood. They were very comfortable where we stood and the decisions we've made over the years. I explained to them briefly that our contract was up and that we had a high bid of $50,000 and a and a lower a lower bid than that and we would discuss those and we'll plan accordingly i'll get to troy after the me meeting vote and no one said why don't you take a little bid nothing like that came out of that so and again that's all public record from that yep. end yeah <clears throat> i mean our if i've been on this commission now for 10 years and our budget is about twelve thousand dollars less than when I joined here huh. ten years ago. It was one ten, wasn't it that year? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it was one ten. It was one ten. One o two. It was one ten that first year. One o two the second year, and now we're sitting at. How much would you say? Eighty four. Eighty four. So even with and with the and basketball with courts being paved, the increase in this, we're still less than our budget a decade ago. And I explained that to the budget committee, which is probably what kept them from saying, "Let's look for a few hundred dollars here." We can't take credit also, for paving the basketball court. No, I was very clear. Yeah, we get yeah. volunteers, this group, I don't say me, this group gets volunteers to spend thousands of dollars of their own money to get things done in town, without a doubt. The biggest budget item we have is this one, and it was the biggest nightmare for this commission for years. We had three to four miserable years handling this, and it does not mean Rocky is going to be a miserable year or two years or anything like that that's not what i'm saying by any means mm -hmm. um but we have a motion on the table in a second any further discussion of the motion all right let's take a vote on the motion all in favor of the motion aye all opposed aye two, three. all abstain no vote i'm still torn How'd okay I honestly think, and I know it's not a, you know, I guess it's not a good spot for discussion, but I'd really like to have Mike in on the decision. I think Mike is the one that deals with it more than our, any of us, and I think Keith deals with it a lot more than any of us with Sawmill, even though he's sort of not there as much. It's sort of like his baby. Um, I don't know. So. Because we're in the middle of the voting portion of this, I guess the discussion would say finish the vote and then make a motion if you want to make yeah. a motion to do something different. So, but by voting no, it's not saying that we don't want that contract. It's not, I'm not no, it's saying we turn down my motion tonight. Okay. I, I bet no. Okay. So the motion fails 1 4 0. So, based on what you were just saying, what's your thought process here? I mean, how. How much does that put our timetable back? I, I can handle a timetable with um, the budget committee and with Troy. I just think I think two people can make a big difference in this. And again, they're they're really the two point people that are going. You're going to be dealing with the baseball fields. Keith, for lack of a better word, is going to be dealing with. Well, not really Keith as much as as uh, Keith Mike. Said. Yeah, it's only Mike's going to be dealing with with sawmill. Um, if it is, if he does have an issue with with the current landscapers, I'd like to hear that. If it's not, um, I'd like to hear that. We can't just keep put stringing this along. I mean, we we. <laughs> well, we can. We can table this if that's what we want to vote to do. I, I just, you know, I mean, it's it. This is. I I just feel like we we've, we've had a long discussion. We're going to rehash it again with with one more person in the group. But as you said, he's the one who handles sawmill. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I kind of, not to this brings up another topic, I wasn't part of, of a vote, a major vote for using um, 
I don't think you were here. Maybe you were, John. I don't know. Um, for when we were talking about field usage. And I think I was a, a major player in, in that decision. Being involved I in softball, yeah. Right. And I wasn't even... And I said I was on vacation. But time, the time was a concern. But we, but were, we were told in that one they needed for a decision that one, now. There was everything right. after, and it's it, there was no consideration for, for me not being in attendance. Yeah, that's uh, true. We we talked about not having anybody here to represent that, but they wanted a decision then, and that's why we said we can, can we will continue this discussion. Just I mean clearly it said that in the whole thing. We will continue. It wasn't video taped, oh, so. all right, and we will <laughs> continue sorry. this discussion in the future because we've got interested parties right. in out here. But well, they, I, but I, they needed an answer. They needed that an answer that week. I make a motion to accept Proscape's bid as it is in front of us right now. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. Discussion. No, I, I, I mean, I, the timeline's important here because if. Um, I mean, I'm, I think we should include them if we can, if it's not going to back things up terribly with the budget committee. So, because to, to your point, it's important to include people that have the most skin in the game. Yeah, I mean, I wish I was included. If right. possible, you know. So we've just you know, we've we've not included people in certain aspects of these meetings. I mean, if they can't make it, they can't make it. I mean, right, we've but got, this is, we're talking about a, this is a two-year contract that we're locked into. You it know, is more if, than if, more if, than half our budget. If, yeah. if we make a decision on field usage and you weren't here for it and you come back to the next meeting and you say, you know what, can we reopen that? We can reopen it. We can change what we're doing. This, once we vote on a contract, we're, we're, unless there's reason to terminate the contract, which hopefully there would never be. It better not be. be. Um, then we're, we're, we're tied into that for two years. It's not something that we can reverse. This is, this is a major decision. This is... Half of our, more than half of our budget. What, now, 60 what if percent of our budget. Keith's supposed to be here supposedly eight twenty? Mike's not coming though. Right. Mike, Mike's, and Mike's the one who handles the now. Do we wait? I, and I think he makes a good point. But that's we, again, we have a motion to second. We can, we can then table this if the vote but goes down. But Kurt's to his, had, to Kurt's Kurt's point. Kurt's had discussions. It sounds like with TLC. I have not. I've never dealt with them, so I can't say. Kurt's dealt with them. I don't. I can't speak for Keith. Um, have, you've dealt with them. I you have. haven't had any. Only issues. over the phone, but yeah. Right. Um, well, I mean, and this this five of us here. Kurt, uh, Keith would make six. I don't necessarily. Not that I. I realize that Mike watches over Sawmill more than any of us, um, but I'm not sure if. I know you've had discussions. I just don't know why we're wait, why we're we're waiting for one individual to make an entire board decision. Just if, for just if, for his opinion, just to see what he thinks of what well, again. What is what does Keith and Mike think this? And we are not under a time gun to get this done. We're not. Mm -hmm. um, would I prefer to get it done? Yeah, it would make life easier for Troy and the budget committee and the selectmen. But the, they already have the dollar value. Yeah that was given to them at that meeting of $50,000 being the max of this line item, that's what it sits in until we approve what we're going to do. That's what they, that's what they were given as data. Okay. Any other discussion? Let's, let's vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, wait, wait a minute, what are you voting? <laughs> we, you, you made a motion I made a, a motion. Second. I made a motion. Accept. To accept his, his, his bid. bid. Okay, so now we're going to make a motion. No, the motion's already I mean, made. Now we're going to vote on it. Okay, we're going to vote all in favor accepting Proscape's bid Got it. for the two, two years. Say aye. Aye. All opposed, say aye. I am, I'm sorry, I didn't. I was going to go with the aye. You're going to go with the I aye? Was delayed, I was okay, all opposed. No abstinations. Motion fails. Two, three, zero. Can I ask questions since I'm an Absolutely. alternate member? This might be the first time we've had a close vote. So, how does, because I'm. Quorum is four, right? And You're, one extra. You, Where, as an alternate member, would be able to vote because there's not um, the full membership here. Full member, okay. So it's only when the full member. So uh, technically, I guess we need to put them, we need to appoint you as a voting member tonight. Voting member. It wouldn't change the. Oh, I know. I'm just saying the, the for, vote for the formality. We can we okay. can go through a formality if we'd like to. We want to do that and vote again. Is it going to matter? It's not because it would come out as a tie of a two-two, which wouldn't approve the vote. No, it ties a win. Well, then we should, we should go through the formality then. I'm going to make a motion that we uh, approve him as a voting member this evening. We have a second. 
No second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Zero, four, zero, zero. Let's vote again on the motion that Kurt put out to accept ProScape's um, bid. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion fails, two, three, zero. Uh, I, and again, it doesn't say no to anyone. Yeah. Um, we said no to TLC. We've said no to ProScape. All right. Correct. But we, uh, we, we have, we we mean, have the not, right not, to deny both of these in the end, too, next time around. If we right. can't come we're to not, a quorum. We're not we, doing that, though, because we've we, done that in the past. Nobody has suggested this, this that not, right now. Well, then you'll end up mowing. You, you live closest to Brickyard. <laughs> I'll mow Dara. You can mow. Go calling, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I say we get goats. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so uh, is this now, are we just now waiting for the other two? We can make a motion to table us till the next meeting table the vote on this can I ask the contractor in the room is this waiting two weeks or it would be three weeks no two weeks I don't know when it's one is. three weeks three weeks three weeks because it's a right next Tuesday's right so we oh, oh there's Keith. one of them you missed you missed all the excitement Keith uh -oh. Don't worry, I'll, I'll yell at the oh, next yeah. meeting again. I was waiting for all the excitement to pass before I showed up. You get, you get to cut then. sawmill every other week. Yeah, you get to we currently have had two motions go through, well, three motions go through. We approved a voting member this evening, uh, the alternate member, and we had a motion to approve TLC. That was denied. And then we had a motion to approve ProScapes, and that was denied. And the reason the discussion that went along with ProScapes is denied is to hold off to get your opinion and hold off and get Mike's opinion on can we uh, get what we're doing we're allowed to have one member join by phone. phone yes does anybody have Mike's number maybe he can join by phone well where's he at is he at a meeting or what's he who cares he said he was at an LMS, <laughs> no, he was he at a, he was at an LMS meeting. meeting well but since, the, since we're still the, in the uh, landscaping uh, conversation wait a minute now I mean we need Mike's PC opinion though right? We need, are we going to read? What this is? I oh. think so. Are we asking Mike just to vote, or do we want to talk to him and find out what his take is on all of this? I don't because think Mike could vote right now because we've approved him as a voting member this evening. With yeah. Keith here, that fills up the no. board. No, that, but he'd be the seventh. Who's missing? I don't think. You sure you're an alternate? Yeah. Yep. I'll look at look is Jessica list. Jess still a full? Jess is gone. I know, but I think she's still listed she's as a full gone. member. Oh. Hold on. Let me this Jess one. is gone. Sandy's gone. Fun meeting, huh? <laughs> so, I mean, you can still appoint him. We're real formal. <laughs> well, you like, can still appoint him as a voting member and for Jess's spot if she's still yes. listed as. Well, we've already done that, whatever the spot is. But you're right. right. Even if Mike showed up, he'd be able to vote because that would put us at seven, right? Right. Right. Because we ideally want to have an odd number. Right. They, don't, they don't even list us anywhere, do they? Oh, here we are. Chairman Bryant, VC uh, Collins. Sandy Vance, Keith Buxton, Colleen Gamache, Jessica Philbrick, and John Brunel. That's old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say that's an old one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so. So we want to table it? Do we want to listen to Keith? Do we want to? I mean, you wanted, you, you wanted to do this, so do you want to? Do you want to bring Keith up to speed? Or do you want to just, do you want to have another meeting where we bring in, make sure everybody's going to show up because that sounds like what you want? And then, then we'll, we'll vote on it again. I, I agree with Andy. I think Mike and Keith are key to the f some of the fields that we operate off of, um, and you're key to the baseball fields. So having the three of you not here and me not here would be a problem in this because we're the ones who deal with it day in and day out. We're yep. the ones who have to answer the phones and, and deal with the complaints or, or deal with the leagues. Um, and I'm not sure how much you're involved. But I assume well, I get second hand to my husband. So. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to table it and then TLC, so. for the next meeting. I, that would be my. I, I like Andy's idea okay. towards that, or calling idea. It's a big who, decision. I, I don't want to just make it because we have to make it. Uh, if we if we're not really under a constraint of time, not we, had, we had said it that we'd vote on this tonight. That's all, and I just don't. But know if it. I inform Troy why we didn't vote on it, yeah. and based on the conversation with the budget committee, I don't see any real issue with that. So so if we're doing that, I think we should. Probably try and lock down our, our next scheduled meeting. Who's who's able to be in? in Could we have a special meeting too? And if and if we can't get everybody here for that meeting, so we don't run into this problem again, maybe we have maybe we schedule a, a special meeting when right. everybody just to make sure everyone's in attendance. Because our next meeting would be November fourteenth. 
God, so I would far prefer away. not to have a special meeting on something this important because that became an issue. We right. did that on a Saturday. People were saying, people why, say why, why are you pulling things off of your regular scheduled meetings to do on a Saturday? What are you hiding? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and what again, time there, can you get there were, here? There were accusations made about you know, me knowing knowing people personally and everything right. else that came well, out, which is not Andy, true. Get a you, did headache. you text him? What time mm -hmm. could he get here? I don't have his number. Do you have Bosky's number? I do. I think I do. So November 14th, I mean, does... Hey, that's, that's three weeks out. It would be good to get this thing. Yeah. I have it. Well, Keith, have you had a chance to look at the contracts? Uh, I looked them over... Um, <laughs> Yes. I, I kind of scanned through them, but I didn't read, read in detail. Um, I get, are, are we going into that discussion now? Or? We well, can, we're, 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 in, we're in open discussion right now yeah. about the contract. I'm probably, this has less to do with, with the, propo the proposals that were, that were uh, brought to us than past experience, but I know I'm, I'm hesitant to, because we've had issues before in the past, to move away from something that works. Um, and I know the money is always an issue. When we look at, when we look at these proposals, we have to look at, you know, what, what's best for the town, uh, what's most cost effective, but at the same time we tried doing, doing it once before, well, with two different contractors in it didn't work out well for us. That didn't involve this company, so it, I can't obviously, obviously say that that would happen again, but it, it, it's definitely a concern because that was our main, the last time we tried to go through this, we ended up um, running into some pretty big problems. Really kind of set us back about a year, probably a year and a half. Yeah. I smiled because I said that, what, six or seven times. This is nothing, not reflective mm -hmm. at all on Rocky. It's reflective of past experiences. Okay. You're pretty much saying the same thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't want the harm to go to his business or anything like that that we're saying we know anything about it. Okay. Right. And in the time, you know, when we, in the past, going, we're going through in the default budgets and people were really looking to, to trim things back, it was, it was probably a little additional pressure to, to to look at the, the lower cost proposals and, and lean towards those, maybe you know, who knows what will come around in the next in the next budget. But maybe we're not quite in that same position right now. But so I, I don't know that we saved the money last time. As Kurt yeah. explained, the budget right now for the town is over budgeted by eighty something oh, yeah. thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, as I explained to the budget committee, our budget is still less than what it was when I first joined the commission 10 years ago. It was 110, then 102, and we're in the 80s right now. So even with the $10,000 in the basketball court mm -hmm. and reserving this, we're still less than what our budget was years ago. Um, that meeting went tremendous. They didn't look to cut any items. The only major discussion we had was the port party costs went up because we picked up the baseball fields, and it went up, you know, a lot based on that. So that's the two speed things we talked about. Okay. An hour ago. I sent Mike a message. If he responds, I'll let you know. But I sent him a message saying, hey, can I you make it down? I sent to him, too. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um, and this is going to be, a, I know it's probably a no, can do, but because then we'd have to scrap, and I don't think we want to do that. But what about the possibility of splitting it, not splitting it even? I mean, I think my concern, your concern is, okay, this is great. We haven't, you know, training. I think you use the word training uh, in commercial. See if, you know. Splitting what? Like taking off a field and saying, okay, I don't know. We'd have to, I, I, I guess we couldn't. Because okay. we, we have the sealed Split bids. the properties, yeah. I just sort of give you a property and say, okay, you know, and do it for a year and say, hey, let's, you know. Yeah. And that way, it's not just for us, but for, I mean, I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to check with Troy to see if we could do that, and then both no, I, contracts. I, I think have we have to, to wipe out so both forth. contracts. And I, yeah, we. we yeah. yeah. You okay. just gonna. Never mind. It'll be a free for all. 
Can you make the next meeting? Um, Fourteenth. Let's go around the board. You're always around. Can be be, be here the fourteenth. You missed that. a whole bunch of meetings this summer. It's what? busy. Yeah, it's summer, like you one. can't count summertime. Summer. No, no, no. <laughs> Nobody counts the summertime. Can you be here next one? Yeah. Yes. Keith's checking. I'll be here the next one. I'm sure of it. I believe. Yeah, I don't see anything. Over here by myself more but I mean, it's else. November 14th, so it is three weeks away. <laughs> yep. Right. Just to let you know. <laughs> well, I mean, let's just put it off then until the 14th. Well, I am. Uh, I'm working, but I could do it by phone or email or. Well, I mean, act, I mean, even even if you can't. <clears throat> Because I'll, I will be in a hotel room. So. I, I mean, I would feel comfortable even without Mike voting here if we had his, like if he had sent us an email saying, I can't make the meeting, but these are my thoughts on the field condition. You know, at least would have that. We, um, could, we could read that in an open meeting. Right. So, I mean, that way if, even if you can't vote, you can at least Provide make your input. opinion yeah. felt. Um, so anybody that but if, as he's saying, you can we can have one board member as we want. Well, I'm not even sure if it's just one. It, it may be two. Um, vote on the phone if that's the case. Mm -hmm. No issue with right. that as long as the group here allows. <coughs> it to happen. Well, we can even use that thing, right? He said, "Do you need me?" What's it, Mike? Because I'm toast. Yeah, I think by the time he gets here, I think we're going to be toast. So, I guess. I know uh, TLC is not here to ask the same question, but does a, th a three week delay from this point, does that put you in a bad position? No, um, I, it's not going to really affect me too much waiting three more weeks. I mean, I don't know what at what point in the season you start looking at, you know, s scheduling stuff or, or other contracts type stuff for, for next spring, um, equipment, things like that. So. I don't know how far out. Some lead time is good. Um, more lead time is better. We're actually earlier this this time around than we have been the last yeah. couple. Yeah, couple I think I remember years. bidding it like in Christmas time. December, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll we just want to just wait till the 14th just to. We just ask him, are you available? Available. Oops, I get spelled. But even if he's not available, we can get his opinion. Right, there. right. No, no. Okay, so I'll, I'll say no, we're good. Right. Why, don't we, why don't we plan on that then? All right, and if, if and uh, hopefully you can make it back. If we'll, we'll get we'll get input via email. Yeah, because we all had a discussion, so we all know where where we sit. You can watch it on. You can watch video. it on the video. Yeah. We'll ask Mike to do the same and thing. Mike to do the same. That way he'll hear the answers Rocky gave us. And uh, okay. you hear me, my voice get raised. Going up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, you're used to it by now. <laughs> Where are all the people's coming to help us with this meal? <laughs> Want to move on from this then? Yeah, I don't think there's any right. other. Thanks for coming, Rocky. Right. Right. Appreciate right. it. 14. See you, see you in the 14th. Right. Thanks. Um, I don't have an agenda for today because I don't know what we covered the last meeting. Does anybody have anything else they wanted? It's been nothing. I took some notes on what we did. Yeah, we both. There's been no communication. Um, what happened, the only thing that I could think of that happened was the. Uh, the two trunk of treats are independent of each other. Yeah, I tried yeah. to put them together. Really? Yeah, I know, it, it didn't happen. Like. And we're apparently <laughs> sponsoring one of them. Twice as yes, much candy. I noticed that too. <laughs> twice as much candy. What's that? For the kids. We're sponsoring one of them. Yeah, I don't know how so that I, is. I believe no, you I sponsored looked. it last time. I looked. I no? no? Mm -mm. So I don't know what. I don't know what she, See, I that's where all our money goes. It is the same flyer. Like and I looked at the old flyer. It doesn't have a sponsoring it. So I'm like, oh, they actually added that. Sponsoring it, meaning our approval gave sponsorship to it? I guess that's okay. Maybe, you know, what would, what would a better word be instead of sponsor? Would be uh, endorsed by the Recreation Commission, maybe, or instead of sponsored? Sponsor I sounds like money. I voted to... Yeah. It's not my email. I never once said, I just said you're approved. Yeah, and yeah. I tried to connect them, but they just didn't connect. I don't even know if the other girl for Lions got got Town Hall, but she had re reached out yes. to Town Hall independently. Well, right. one of them's happening here. So that's okay. the Lions. That's the Lions one. Lions the other Lions one's Lions. happening at Dara, I guess, yeah. on a Sunday afternoon Next or something Sunday. like that. Yeah. Or this Sunday. Yeah. Sorry, this. Yeah. Yeah, the other one's happening on Halloween, Halloween day. here. Yeah. Halloween day. No, no, Halloween from oh, six night? to eight. 
Yeah. There's one on Sunday room. at the park. And right. There's the one here, Halloween evening. That's the Lions Club. Yeah. Lions Club are here, and whatever that one is. Yeah. Wow, the kids could w make out huge. Yeah, ones. the little ones. Are both. Be, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the last week, uh, the. 603 Cornhole guys were here. They're going to do the same thing they did last year. What was the date on that? It was December 9th. Okay. Um, the Angel Tree and the Teddy Bear Drive for the, for the state police. I just got to put it on the calendar. Um, but have they sent us, they haven't sent us the... We didn't get a, okay. They didn't do a formal request. They just came in to... When's our winter meeting for um, for the spring calendar for talent? Uh, February, usually the first Tuesday. Well, I mean, if I want January, though, did I miss it already? No, that's in November. Okay, All right. Uh, but usually we wait until basketball because yeah. I want to know what spots they take specifically for rec. Uh, yep. But that might be a little interesting this year. Why? Well, because it's it was easier for me because I was actually doing both and it was oh. I could communicate very well with myself. Huh. Uh, but I've tried. I've reached out once or twice. I haven't heard anything. So who's uh, in charge over there right now? I don't know. Huh. I just sent it to the email. And um, the other thing that we have to worry about with basketball is, if you remember, they got a um, a limited insurance binder to cover them for the summer clinics and things. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that extended past huh. regular season. Into yeah, I think it, I think it was only for eighty kids or something. I think it was for forty kids, so it doesn't cover cover the league. So who's tied into basketball then? Nobody. Oh, that's great. Okay. So I forgot to bring a form in, and I haven't really had a meeting yet with the boosters, but can I possibly hold or reserve Talent Hall for December 8th, that Friday night, for a booster club, a Campbell High booster oh, okay, club? Oh, okay, okay, 8th. Um, paint night. It's just going to be painting. Uh, um, Sipping and painting. Floor. We're going to repaint the floor, yeah. So the, are you there? I'm, I'm I'm part of the booster club now. So that's an easy answer. So, but I'm not. It would not be sponsored by. Doesn't have to put it on the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to. Be. And you can ask us for approval as a rec commission, but as a rec commission member, if the schedule is available in. You well, make it right available. now it shows um, basketball rec five to nine. On that Friday on, night. How would that yeah. happen? Did they know, already scheduled time for that. They had requested time for. Uh, fall clinics on Friday nights. So I guess the the, the old school uh, and, go, and actually but that, the bas it. basketball season will be Underway. in full swing at that right. point. And Friday nights are usually not taken. Okay. Um, but I know that they are. <coughs> they're going to put a little bit more. Uh, the feedback I did get was they're going to be using talent a little bit more this year for practice because they got pushed back a half hour or 45 minutes because the new LMS girls coach yeah. doesn't work in the school, so they're going to have to practice later. Yep. So that means that they're going to be able to start their travel practices later. And I know there's been some pushback of some of the teams, like my son or daughter is not practicing from 8 o'clock to 9.30 at night. That's what mine's doing right now until, yeah, 7.45 to 9.15. Yeah. So it so do I reach out to who was ever going to be running their practices that night on the on the eighth. I, I would reach out to whoever does the schedule for basketball. Who is that this year? <laughs> well, who's ever in charge? So, I, I assume it's still him. So it might be worth. Well, you know what? Why don't we just? I would say I I'm going to make a motion to to hold it for boosters. I'm looking for like seven to ten that Friday night. And sure. in that one day, they can adjust things. Okay. Yeah, so right. make, finish eight. your motion. Okay. So I'm making December a motion eight, to right. approve the December boosters eight, yeah. for. Use of Talent Hall on Saturday or Friday, uh, December 8th. 8th from 6 p.m. Because you'll need to go into the setup. Yeah, to get in there. 6 to 10 p.m. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Motion carries. If you have the calendar, calendar open, can you just put it in there? So just I'll put it in there. Yep. Adjust the calendar. There we go. That works. Thank you, guys. Um, if, if somebody's contacting basketball for anything, it might be worth pointing out to them that they're, they – that league at this point doesn't have a representative on the board here, so on the commission, so they might want to be more proactive on coming to meetings or, you know. You got Paul's email. You want to send him an email? Yeah. 
Okay. Just copy us on it. Just let mm -hmm. them know. Hey, we need input. We need to know what's going on. He's still the one in charge. As far as I know, they haven't voted him out. Yeah. Or voted someone else new in. So, yeah. for, you know, yeah. especially with Mike here, you know, in, you know, baseball's represented. Uh, lacrosse has been represented in soccer, softball, and basketball <coughs> in the past, and they don't really have a voice right now. You know, coming upon their season too. Mm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, what else you got on there? That you want to talk that's, about? That's, a, that's what I needed. I'm gonna have to actually go in a minute. So yeah, yeah. Because um. Nobody had any communications with us at all. Just no, it's been very quiet. Beautiful. Motion to adjourn. Wow. Uh, second. Got a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Rock and roll. Aye.